apoptosis, you brought the symbol back somewhat organic, took it out of the straight lines, and then you actually see that these are the exact same symbols, except you start being able to read deeper into knowledge, though, as far as what that hexagram actually means. Because in itself, it's actually the symbol of an inorganic womb, synthetic womb. Because the wombs don't contain straight lines. Only the synthetic wombs create straight lines. So now you'll see why they use it for communication, because communication is like birth. They use it for everything that they can seem to, to get associated with it. They always throw the hexagram in there, right? So let's keep going. Because some people, until they see the rest of this message today, they think, ah, oh, man, maybe he's a little off. <laughs> I'm going to show you that all the knowledge here is the only thing they've been doing is making it seem complex. And what's really happening here now is that we're finding out. And a lot of the people that have been hanging around, trying to be on the other side by attempting to undermine the resistance, are going to have to cease and desist. Because they're going to see even today that they're dead wrong. Literally. That when you're dead, it is very hard to see, <laughs> clearly. Same thing here, pentagram. Man, they already showed it. This is why it becomes the most enigmatic, crazy symbol of the dimension, because man is the most enig enigmatic, crazy being on the dimension. There's no telling what man is going to do next. He keeps and she keeps insinuating that it is other beings and other things spurring them on to act the way they act. But there's nothing else beside us when you really see what's happening. So you see that it's just another side of you wanting to live out and act out. So blaming it on something else to why you act the way you act is not realizing that you want to be in that frequency. There is something about that frequency that you resonate with. And until you decide to cross over the gate and to go through customs, then you'll stay in that dimension. You'll never see what you would call expanse and paradise. And here's another amazing thing. Once you finally do, you'll see that you would, you're able to achieve it here. <laughs> that this entire reality will metamorphosize into something that you can actually expand in and continue to expand in and grow and see others grow and to feel again. Because the problem with being synthetic is you can't feel anything. Anyone ever start thinking about, anyone now asking why back when they were younger, the club, even when they were in a club, it felt like different. Like I was having fun. And then now I'm doing the right thing for myself. I'm eating the right stuff, but I can't seem to like, I feel, or back in the day when I was in church, I used to feel like the spirit was there, but now I don't feel anything. It's not because of what you were doing before. It's, how, it's because how you become now. The things that they've brought into the world since then to now have only served to make you more artificial. You are what you eat. You eat artificial food, you become an artificial being. You don't drink water, you don't be water. Water's life. Your chem water's chemically imbalanced and pH screwed up and laden with minerals, you become chemically balanced, pH'd up, laden with minerals. You see, whatever we choose to take in, we become. Whoever we think God is, we eventually become that. That's why the best thing that you can do for yourself is to realize universal knowledge. Because no matter what dimension, plane, or expanse you end up on and land in, the same rules will apply. No longer will you come spiraling through a world like a falling star, crashing all into this, causing conflicts that cause ripple effects later on in life that you have to deal with. You see what I mean? Keeping it 100% responsible is what I call it. You want to be 100% responsible in this world. So let's keep going. Pentagram. It means phi. We've been running all over it. <laughs> phi is the body. 
You're right. So what happens is, is that when you try to interpret a symbol like this, you're going to come up with as many variations as of individuals and their attitudes and how they exist on a physical plane. And guess what? Like I told you, there was a demonizing of woman. When you flip the star upside down, it actually means woman. And this is where you get to the symbol that so many people in this dimension see as the demonic symbol, which is the inverted pentagram. It's because they have demonized it, the same faction that is turning everything that means woman into evil, and then hidden why in the Baphomet lure, Baphomet has the breasts. Okay? Because they're hiding a mystery of the tradition of fertilization. That's why when you, when you get deep into it, they say, well, Baphomet is a, 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 a fertilization principle. But the symbol doesn't look like that. It looks like a terrible monster. Right? Now you see the trick. The fertilization symbol or the fertility god is a fertility goddess. I mean, this is not a mystery, people. We've just been, like I said, run around the forest. Someone is playing games with us, taking away our regenerative principle so that we die. Dying is what you did already when you split from the feminine. That causes death. Splitting causes a temporary stage of what appears like death until you gain that other side again. That's what we're doing here. Let me give another symbol and then we'll get onto this board. Yeah. Actually, that, those symbols will suffice. Let's go ahead and get to the board. Let me check over my notes really brief here because we haven't even begun. What's going to be happening in season two is that we're going to take every single thing and truthize it. <laughs> we're going to call it, have something called the truthizer. And every single thing that is going on, we simply put the gooey or the, the actual correspondence to truth. This gooey means you lay over it. Whatever is false, you put the truth over it. And show people this is the truth to it. So, also, let me just look through my notes here really briefly just to make sure that I'm not missing any part of this because it's super important. Let me back off here with the camera. Use some images to take a look why. I set up this here so that we can go ahead and get on the, the board because this is massive because what you'll see is, is that man, man, I've been getting played. I've been on time out. They're showing me all this stuff and telling me it means all these different things and it just means me, other variations of me. Then they make it all mystical and enigmatic this is my word for the day. An enigma. We can't. We don't know what it is, because <laughs> you don't know yourself. That's what they're saying. They're saying as long as you don't know yourself, then you won't know the meaning in true hidden meaning to any of these mystery symbols. And then, when they take woman out and debase her and degrade her. Then, if they can completely abolish what it was ever like to regenerate, and they could even turn the feminine species itself into non-regenerators, then they can rid us, rid us off the planet, as they always say. Then they'll leave the planet. And leaving the planet is, of course, leaving the vibration of being a whole and complete being. I have to move this around a little bit. So this is important because this is what happened. This is how the quote unquote Jesuits, we smite their face, are keeping things going on. That's the other thing. I'm, I'm not being nice with people anymore. Meaning that all the smiling in the face and ah, hello, how are you doing? Look, do you want to know the truth or not? This is not a de democracy. If you come into our network, we're here to expand you. If you don't want to expand, then go to Facebook. We're not going to be playing with people anymore. Truth makes you very serious because it is a shame right now, the way that we're living, that we don't have truth. We're living like dogs and pigs. We're fighting and bickering and hating each other. Living in unbalanced, low frequencies. Killing our own members of our society. 
We've turned against one another. We've turned against the opposite sex. We talk about everyone. Everyone's no good for us now. Every time we have something to say, it's so much more easier these days for people to say something negative about a person than positive. So hard for them to, to they're so weak, they can't pick anyone up. Instead, they kick them down. Talking about stuff that's happened five or six years ago. The past is as short as yesterday. You can change today. So to start pointing out what a person has done in the past, <laughs> you obviously didn't get that it's nonlinear. And on top of that, when, as being a teacher, you're going to have to experience everything. Ridicule, all of it. Guess why? Because you're going to need the experience. I want you to read about it. Watch it. <laughs> no, only doing. So here we go. Let's do something. Let's go ahead and lay out the keys to the universe. And let me check. Let me just check the chat box. I can do that. Let me check really briefly just to make sure that everyone's connected. In fact, we're going to take a brief, I'm going to take a brief um, break here. And I'm going to get some water. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give you the keys to the universe. Today's show, I don't care how many times I have to go over this on this board, I'm going to make sure you understand this because it's so important. Like right now, what I see happening in this world is a total game. But our world is dying because we're playing this game. There's entities on this planet that, again, only small parts of us that want to isolate themselves. This is why, as I showed you in this symbol of the D down here, that the D is the king now. That's why D became Dios, right, or Deuce, and this is God, right? But the God is the king because the king deified himself in this world. The, our, the king of this world wanted to be worshipped like a god. That was Caesar, that was Pharaoh, that the king of Britain, all of them are doing the same thing. This is nothing new. But the, they are lacking the other part of their principle. So this is why they're always associated with destruction and death. And they bring about such things because they divide kingdoms. Because the original mother that is divided is actually the planet, or the original division. Because when I say mother in this, this uh, speech today, when I say father in this speech today, when I say man or when I say woman, I mean the same thing. Don't let your mind get hung up on, oh wait, is he talking about the female or are you talking about the male? Because you'll spin in and out of this thing in different levels all the time. Meaning that you can come back as a woman, come back as a man, come back as some invisible entity come back as some uh, eidolon that people are still calling upon. But the key here is, is to realize what is going on, <laughs> game bearing. So that way you can start to project where you want to be. Beings are already doing this, I found out. I was like, man, how can I not be expanding when everyone else is expanding? Like, I don't want all of these physical cars and all of this stuff. This is ethereal. I've already seen, I mean, th this is, uh, excuse me, physical. I've already seen the ethereal. Once you get a taste of it, and that's why I was talking about experience. Once you get a taste of the spiritual experience, all this stuff seems to need to be enlivened again for it to mean something. My family and my children and the people that are physically on the resistance and the ones that I'm in touch with mean more to me than any of my material perishing possessions. That's the way it began and that's the way it'll always be. But don't expect it to be an end. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a moment. I want to play a recording for you that... Um, that I feel is uh, really important. Excuse me, I left my thing oh, here on the floor. But I'm going to play an uh, actual clip from you from a movie called The Master. And uh, not really too much concerned with the rest of the movie. I didn't even watch it, but I saw this scene in particular. And in this scene, let's see what's up with this, uh, this device here. And in this scene, He was being interrupted by an individual that did not believe what he was saying on the spiritual level. So I wanted to show you the whole scene because a couple things are mentioned that are absolutely true. And also why I show that scene, I'm going to go ahead and take a, a short water break.
Just want to let everyone know also we're still on the cleanse. We're in the internal cleansing part. It's awesome. More clarity like you remove the bowels from the bowels as you'll see today as I lay out the entire diagram. When you remove bowel or the Lord or the evil Lord and then you reinstall one that is vibrating properly and harmonic, it's just like swapping out a bad engine in a car. It starts to run again. See, they're playing us like a game because they could have told you this a long time ago. As you see, none of this stuff is really complex. But when that, what the, the secret is, is that when the serpent who is here, okay? Obviously, this is that symbol I was showing you earlier. The serpent is here. It corresponds to the legs, right? But there's two. So this means it's always dual. These are interlacing. And we'll talk about this when we come back. I don't want to get into it now. But just this component of why the serpent became God was because the Lord or the one that was lower and in division actually became God. Now, what God set out to do was actually cause a confusion. This is what you see in the Bible. And in doing so by actually first saying, I'm the only God, then, re and this is again a system of belief. This is the serpent brotherhood of Saul. I am the only God. And then cutting off the feminine principle also, which is the regenerative principle. Now God doesn't have a wife anymore.